Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click Hire Us or the contact form, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Oh boy. So yes, we are now on Unify Network Application 7. That is the latest uh, major release that has come out. And we're on 7.0.23. And before that, there was uh, 7.0.20, 21, and 22, right? So 20 came out, had a huge list of, of features and bug fi fixes. 21 and 22 and 23 are out. So let's take a look at this. So you have to go back uh, to the uh, release notes and change logs to see it. So I had to go all the way back to the dot 20 to see some of the major changes. And we're going to talk about some of these, but the one we're talking about in this video is this little gem right here. Allow max 255 networks on the UDM Pro, UXG Pro, and UDM SE. Why is this such a big deal? Because previously in Unify, you could have a max of 64 networks, and that includes your LANs and any VPNs. And we talked about this. Uh, a couple of years ago, and I have people who try to use Unify for MDUs, multi-dwelling units, whether it's apartments, hotels, you know, uh, condos, things like that. And once you hit that 64, then you have to drop another one in. This is big news for those folks because now they can upgrade from whatever they're running Unify on now to either a UDM Pro, a UXG Pro, which is still in EA, or a UDM SE, and now it is going to support a max of 255 networks. Now, keep in mind, that includes your LAN, uh, your WANs, and uh, any of your um, VPNs, right? So it's a total of 255 networks. So if you've got one WAN, take that away, and you've already got your LAN, so that's two. So you get 254 additional. If you add a VPN, now you've got 253 additional. But the point is that it's going to support... Uh, a lot more VPNs. What is that? Four or uh, uh, networks? Is that uh, four times more networks now? So now this means yes, we could look at this at a at a uh, nice sized hotel in an MDU. Uh, the last MDU that I that I worked with, the the guy that was running it actually had to put in two USGs and split the property. And now he was managing it under two different um, controllers. And it was just, you know, he, he, I mean, he had the struggles that came along with it. Now he's going to be able to upgrade both of those and, and mix them into the same, um, you know, installation using a UDM pro. So I am super excited about this and maybe just for fun, uh, we will do some, clicking around and and uh, see what this actually looks like. Maybe uh, I'll have this ready for a live stream on Saturday or something like that. But if you're excited about this, let me know about it down in the comments. Let me know what else you think about this. We're going to go through, there are a lot of changes and we're going to go through uh, more of the changes instead of just kind of like sweeping them under the rug. We're going to talk about each of these uh, things that I'm excited about because <clears throat> It's going to make your life easier if you're running Unify. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So those, link, TikTok. those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click Hire Us or the contact form. Fill that information out, and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked affiliate links down below, you can do that. Don't feel uh, obligated to do that, but it does help the channel out. And uh, once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.